Very methodical. Well, yes. We saw earlier in the match Quo fail to capitalise on some excellent play by just mopping up the rest of them, but perhaps the little monster, as he's known, is getting his act together now. And his girlfriend there, very appreciative. Very yeah. pleased indeed because he has put together five straight racks. Not only that, Anthony, he said in the papers uh, um, and, and interviews that his girlfriend's birthday just around the corner and uh, obviously her biggest present looking even bigger. This is going to be a fantastic gift to her if he's able to pull it off. It is 15-11. He, he may be under more pressure with what type of present he buys her after this. Well, right now, he's in the match. Exactly. As they're saying, the last rack Seven. is the hardest. Break, got one more before he gets to that final rack. Right now, breaking to get on the hill and to put even more pressure on the youngster. Of course, we've seen running two racks of nine ball pull isn't that difficult. If the balls go kindly for him. And once again, is it kind enough? Well, if there's going to be a shot that he misses because of the pressure of the situation, in getting to the final phase of this game, this is a big ask. Length of the table, about as difficult a pot as you could get on a nine ball pool table, with no real guarantee of good position. He's jacking up in the air, trying to stun this in. This is very missable. That's the biggest shot of the match. Here's a gut check for Quo. And he misses. Where's the ball going? It's very important for Quo that he gets some type of lead from this. Well, he, <laughs> he's not got a, a pot on, but he has got control of the table, or the possibility of control of the table. Could that be a turning point in the match? He was a long way out with that, but it was a very difficult shot. Wu needs a good safety. Has it poked its nose out? I oh my goodness, I think he's overrun this by quite a way. And it's is it possible? That's risky into the middle. But he could cut it into the corner. And that's going to be another tough cut. There is the, uh, the element of safety behind the five. He could cut this in and play the insurance shot behind the five. Would well, he go he for said, that? If he's gutsy, he can actually go for the side part, although the angle is so acute. I think the cut behind the five's got options. Let's see what he decides on. Going down to the corner. Oh, no insurance. Oh boy, I think he's got a lane here. I'm talking about Wu. Looks like he can see just enough of this four to pot it into that corner. Yes, he can. So, if ever Wu needed to let his left-handed talent do the work, it's now. This is a golden opportunity as far as he's concerned. It may be the last opportunity he gets. The only problem with this is that he really would probably would like to be stunning this four ball in digging down a bit. That increases the problems for putting unwanted side spin on the shot. If he just rolls it in, he's going to be a long way away from the five. Certain times of the game, you perhaps roll this ball in, but I think he wants to stun it and get a bit closer to the five. Well, he got collision on the seven that could have gone anywhere, but it's come out nicely. And uh, an appreciative round of applause there from, obviously, the Wu fans in the crowd. And this looks to be done and dusted. So important, winner breaks. The chance to start to dominate a few racks on the trot. A lifeline for Wu. Can he grab it? He looks to have the class when it comes to cue action. He's obviously not played at his full potential in this final, but then it's the final where most of the nerves would be jangling. Having a night to sleep on things, the excitement of what was ahead, and the realization of what could be. 
Yes, exactly. And, and sometimes, you know, you're amongst your friends and family who get more excited than you and it rubs off. So, whether we had a good night's sleep or not, it's not been the best of days, but he's still in there with a shout. He's only down by three to this man. Kuo Po Cheng has grabbed control of this match, but Wu Tsia Tsing will not go down without a fight. That's a summary of the last rack. That was a tough ball that uh, Kuo had to play, but he had to play it. You can't dog shots like that and turn them down. And that's what separates the champions from the rest of the pack. Kuo Po Cheng not yet up to the task there. Let's see now. What Wu can come up with with a break. The problems for Wu are not only has he got to play well, to he's also got to hope that the breaks go correctly as well to get back into this match. Kuo is very much looking like getting over the line by default in a way just because he is those three racks in front. So these next couple of racks desperately important for Wu to at least get a good leave from this break off. Wing ball goes down quickly. Lost the, lost the cue ball a bit. Didn't want that cue ball to go and come all the way back to the top cushion. There was the possibility of a scratch. But as these balls have laid out, really does launch into that break off, doesn't he? He's got so much power in that cue action. This is a nice rack, the way these have, have ended up. There's He's not start much off problem. With this. Yes, exactly. He's going to start off with this one. Very long shot, but of course a very makeable one. He's got instant position for the two. Yeah, he has nothing to do with the balls here other than just stun this in. And if he missed it, he probably wouldn't leave it on with the eight ball there. Uh -oh. He's over screwed. He's over hit this with his My cue ball. That's goodness. Um, well, he had so much room. He must have just quit a bit on that and not hit it. He just or didn't hit so low enough on the ball. As you said, all he had to do was really just stun, stun it. Stun it dead. Um, perhaps he was trying to get a bit further up the table so he left himself better on the two ball, but he didn't want to leave himself cutting the two in and sending the cue ball up the table again. But, well, that's the cardinal sin in many ways, is not leaving yourself a shot on the two. Well, well. And the plot continues to thicken here in Kaohsiung. Yeah, if he did play more accurate position, perhaps he paid the price for trying to get too clever with that shot. Now, he's got to hope that in this escape that he can get the ball safe and it's just not certain. There's no way he can guarantee getting the ball safe. Remember, a ball must hit a cushion after contact with the object ball, so he couldn't just play off this top cushion and nudge up behind the nine. He's got to drive a ball to a rail afterwards. And oh, he's he goes in and look at this. Boy, that was a bit of bad luck there, Steve. Not really, in as much as it was his own fault in the first place. You know, so you, know, you make your own luck at this game, and uh, he gave himself the option for bad luck. And you can hear the reaction of the crowd. And now you just wonder has he made one error too many? Well, Quo playing. A little bit of a loose shot here on the four, but perhaps he can knock the nine towards the pocket and play position on the five. Okay, no problems there for Quo. Playing a much steadier game, it would appear now. Wu just a little bit off the rails. Trying to get too clever. Not as natural a cue action as Wu, but effective at the game of nine ball. And you'd have to say, Anthony, that it looks all quo now. He seems to have suffered early in this match, but survived that panic and has now become the more assured player. Now just two more balls to pocket. Looking out to deposit this nine. The nine is down, and once again going to the back is Kuo Po Cheng, 